Hello, hello. Welcome to Inside the You, the ultimate adult hockey podcast. You forgot to start that, didn't you? Oh, what? That went a little long. <laughs> I was putting a thing. Ah, uh, <laughs> see, that's what it is. was up yeah, against minimum, the clock. Dude. Minimum effort. Uh, what's up, Larry? <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Chilling. Jerry threw me out well. I know. Yeah. Good. That's why I we wanted to do We got a special guest. Unreal. We even Hi. got a producer, too. Yeah, we special do. guest, producer, <laughs> you cures lit. Yeah. I'll put a little picture in the corner for you if I remember to do that. (laughs) (laughs) We got a little mini U event going on here tonight, so the gang's all here. Somebody say event? Little U (laughs) FC 300 poker. Hang it. Get it? Let's go. That was terrible. He spent all all week coming up with that. All right. (laughs) For all the newbies, welcome inside you, the <laughs> Ultimate Adult Hockey Podcast. Each week, we're bringing oh, insider man. topics, special guests, and slight entertainment from the world of adult hockey, along with discussions and updates around our league. I'm Larry, joined as usual by Steve, and I didn't know if you were going to be here, Jerry, to be honest with you, but you're here. Did you put it in? Uh, I put a question mark oh. next to Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, the good time, buddy. And this week, we got another special episode for you all, fellow Hawks member and you crew associate, Nick DeMarco, in the building. <laughs> Who's got good. the sports center up, thanks, dude? The guest. Oh, is that, <laughs> oh, is that his you phone going off? <laughs> so terrible. All right. Uh, Ray kicked off of YouTube, dude. <laughs> I said, yeah, right. <laughs> Come on. And Jerry oh, is here, but we're, and we're going to be uh, recapping this, the action from this week, checking in on our playoff predictions, announcing March's, March's Players of the Month, plus much more before we get into all that. I just want to ask you guys to continue sharing the show. We appreciate all your help so far, and something as small as sharing this episode contributes to growing the UHL as a whole. So with that being said, what's up, DeMarco? You got your phone on silent? Yes, sir. How are we doing, fellas? <laughs> Chill. Podcast Chill. 101, but no, thanks, for, to be <laughs> here, yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here. He didn't even know they were going. I, didn't, I actually didn't even hear it myself, so it's pretty funny. It's coming in through my... Uh, I heard it. Well, I heard it through my headphones. Yeah. Yeah. Do-do-do. Do-do-do. So right. we, got, we got a little poker going on. A little UFC poker yeah, night. Man. Yeah. Big stacked card. Yeah. I figured we'd have a poker night. It's getting a little bit nice out. I think it's going to be cold out tonight, though. I think it's going down to like 50 and windy. So. We'll manage. We'll manage. Right. We, have the, got the, uh, we got the heaters. Got the heaters and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, by the way, that update was just letting me know that Scotty is in the lead. <laughs> Come on, man. Nick just came from the Masters. Yeah. <laughs> He's got the quarters yeah. that ball. Come on, baby. <laughs> Love it. Chose, chose, not to, chose not to represent the UHL. He chose to represent <sighs> the, the on, Masters man. tonight. And t- I, I, I repped it all week, too, dude. dude. I had to wash it. And t- yeah, right. Tiger with the hat. <laughs> I wore it all week. <laughs> yeah. All right, Joe, you got any uh, got any insights for DeMarco here? You want, um, anything you want to know for... Uh, what do you mean? We're jumping right into all about you? Yeah. Well, I, I, figured yeah we we do, I figured we'd do a quick... Uh, yeah. Okay, great. So um, this is going to be an interesting <laughs> all about you because I don't have an intro. <laughs> because here's here's why. Here's Let's why. Hear one, disrespect. one mm-hmm. I didn't know you were coming on until yesterday. Because mm-hmm. Steve's like, eh, let's just get DeMarco on. All right, fine. That's fine. Then yeah. he's like, <laughs> then I'm like, what? I did not say it like that. <laughs> That's exactly how you sound. I guess we'll have him. <laughs> let's get DeMarco on. It was okay, my fine. idea, by the way. It was your idea. My boy, my boy. Yeah. Killing me. But um, I wasn't prepared. So, but I have questions. Let me call you out, though. Call me out? For what? Does he not text us and be like, hey, I'm working on the intro? And yeah. Five minutes later, he's like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, you could have done it on correct. the car right there. <laughs> it, correct, correct. But but if we went into something else, I probably would have finished it. Freestyle it, dude. Oh, my bad. I'm not going to freestyle. I threw you off. No, it's all right. I got questions, though. I was hoping you would freestyle. That would have yeah. been cool. All right, so been, tonight. That would have been, like, real talent. Oh. We have a defensive specialist <laughs> who plays on multiple teams in the U. Not only is he the captain, but... <laughs> Right? Aren't you the captain? Yeah. Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> All right, we're getting there. Yeah, I don't have anything else. <laughs> <laughs> both Hawks. Both teams of the Hawks. Yeah, he's both teams of the Hawks. Oh, man. Nah. Bleeds red and black. Yeah. Let's say something. Bleeds red and black. <laughs> Bleeds red and black. The best part about him is his girlfriend. I, like, I don't know. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Is Carly listening? He did say defensive specialist. <laughs> you are fair a defensive enough, specialist. Fair. And you are partners with this guy. Yeah, buddy. That's my boy right there. That is your boy. Lockdown All right. Hulk, defense, Hulk baby. Silver defense squad, dude. There it you is. go. Wait, what about gold? Not gold? Gold, yeah. Sometimes. Or you rotate a little bit. Yeah, it's it a little bit gold. different in the gold, right. in the gold team. So though. why don't we just – so that's your intro, and I'll get a better one <laughs> for cool. you. Oh, nice. I appreciate that. <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll come up with <laughs> Minimum effort. <laughs> no, there was no effort. There was zero effort because – Disrespect is unreal. I just wasn't – Disrespect prepared. is unreal. At least I gave you the disclaimer before I started <laughs> – um, all right, so let's get into uh, you know when you started playing hockey and stuff like that. You play at a high level, so I want to know when did you start, where did you go, and how you came to the U because all roads lead 
to the U. That they do. I mean, I guess so, essentially. Like, I feel like a lot of us started probably skiing at, like, two. Okay. Two, yeah, two, push and everything. And then, <laughs> I mean, my dad being my dad, he just kind of took it away from me. I was like, good luck. The push cart? <laughs> yeah, he was like, you don't need this no more. Be free. Fend for nice yourself. Speed. And I was like, all right. And I just kind of picked it off from there. And then uh, pretty much played A, double A my whole life. Um Played with Larry, yes, sir. A lot. Uh, what did you play? You were uh, Phantoms, Junior Phantoms, until right before you, we met up. Uh, I played with with Gee for the Little Flyers, Little Flyers. Then yeah, Phantoms before mm-hmm. they became Comcast, and then we met up at uh, Hollydale. Yeah, Hurricanes, Hurricanes. So I played Hurricanes pretty much until Major Double A, mm. and uh, gave up Dream after that. Nonetheless, <laughs> did you, you, so I was like, gosh, oh, shoot. I'm did you play in high school? Good. Did yeah, play in- so I played for Gloucester Catholic. Uh, so. My uh, sophomore year is first year I made varsity, and then I played with Johnny uh, Goodrow. Johnny Hockey? Johnny our Hockey. team was sick that year. Uh, unfortunately, we ended up losing to Del Bar and New Rouge. They're unreal all the time. <laughs> Still are? It's like, yeah, they're always unreal. It's crazy, yeah. dude. The yeah, level of hockey players, they dude. play, I'm, they it's a boarding school. So the yeah. level of hockey they play, I was about is to say insane, they recruit. Dude. A lot yeah. of pro, pros going through yeah. there. It's, it's like a high school recruitment. Yeah. Who else is? Isn't like CBA or something? CBA. CBA. Yeah. I mean, so back when I was playing there, uh, who was who was good for CBA? I think it was uh, this kid Joachim Ryan, I believe. It was yeah. one of like oh, Van Reems like was on the team at the time oh, as well. Right, CBA. Uh, CBA is way up north though. Why are you guys playing them? Yeah. I guess well, it's Catholic like, League, so it's oh, Tracy, it's New different. Jersey. Yeah, I gotcha. it's just yeah. Because so I was gonna say well, I played them in um, high school, ba- well basketball, but they do the same thing, man. They they recruit for basketball, yeah, so they're yeah. always like ridiculously yeah. good. So yeah, so private league is it's its own entity in New I gotcha. Jersey, essentially. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of traveling and stuff like that. All right, uh, so yeah. did you um did you go to college? Nah, you, no college. No yeah, college. Kinda, so you didn't play. So after that, after high school, you kind of just went in right into men's league. Yeah, stuff? pretty much. Just okay. you took off for a little bit, no? Yeah, a little while. Um, I mean, I was back and forth for a little bit. I'd play here and there, but aside yeah. from that, it was just kind of yeah, like get open ice when I shit. could. <clears throat> yeah, Nick's one of the OG Hawks. Yeah. Okay, so Nick came on really early on. I think it was either was it the first season. Yeah, that's me. Holy crap. More sporadically, yeah. though. It's, like, I guess. it's our first pod, dude. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I was like a solar eclipse. I'd be around here. And then, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then yeah. you took a little hiatus, and then you came back, uh, you know, the last, what, three seasons? Three or four seasons? Yeah. So, well, yeah. I guess, I mean, more full-time, I guess, yeah. the past two seasons. Two seasons, two seasons, so, seasons yeah. yeah. Wait, how I long really has like... the Hawks been, like, when did they start? Like, when did, did you start the Hawks? Yeah. Okay, so when did you start the well, Hawks? It's been about four years at least, right? It has been, yeah. It started, we actually, like, we were going to, right when COVID started is when we were going to have our first season. So once mm, that. That's crazy. Yeah, once that, that uh, cleared, we were able to hop in at Hollowdale. Holy and shit. And then we, we, we had a few seasons since then. So uh, I think we've had um, probably about nine or ten seasons. This might be our tenth season. Damn. Yeah, it's been a while. Probably had. Yeah. I, I always consider like the U was the beginning, <laughs> the beginning. But you're right; it, yeah. went, it went further beyond yeah. that. I mean, it, it's been a while. Yeah, yeah. Well, the sure. U was beginning of the best. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's when it really picked up. But yeah, um, sure. I don't know what other stuff you have about hockey. But what was it like? You did well, Spen- I forget what Spencer said. Was Spencer on your team too? For did, did he go to Boston Catholic? Catholic? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Spencer yeah. was on your team. Spencer, yeah. Brody was on your team. Yeah, Hunter. Yeah. Um, who else? Didn't was, wasn't Robinson on your team too? Yeah, Eric. Yeah, Eric, Eric yeah. went to the show. Uh, Blue he Jackets. still plays. He still plays in the Blue Jackets. Yes, yeah, yeah. So you got it. You got a couple of. Oh, geez, you play with a lot a of pros. Of pros yeah. yeah. So Eric actually ended up going to uh, Princeton, <laughs> nice. and then which was his, his game. Guy. His game just went up, man. And he fucking that got shit was crazy. Drafted by the Blue Jackets. Yeah. What was it like playing with Johnny? Johnny, ah, oh, dude. Just watching that kid play is unreal. That's just I especially, so I mean, just especially so growing up around him at Hollydale. Yeah. Just, like, his progressiveness, especially when he got to high school and then after he left early to go to debut. Yeah, yeah. His level just extraordinarily yeah, went yeah. up, dude. And, it then was he went, and then he went to Boston College and just lit it up. Dude. What's nice. debut? Uh, USHL. Yeah. Uh, debut fight in High level, like, juniors. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. It's like if you're really, really good, they'll pull you out of high school. Yeah, and he lit it up there. Oh, that makes sense. And you get like homeschooled and stuff, right? Yeah, typically. Yeah. Then I think went so, to Boston yeah. College and just crushed it. Too. Basically, grooming to to go pro or yeah, college essentially. Or something yeah, like yeah. That. What year did you play? Or how old were you when you played with them? Uh, uh, sophomore year, so I was I don't know what 15, 16? sixteen. Yeah, yeah. Like that. What was it? What was the size like? 
in regards to, like, his skill? Like, was it, like, he, it was never a thing? Like, it was never a problem? Nah, dude, he was, he was very good at avoiding being hit. He's, he's yeah. a finesse player. He's a very yeah. good player. So he was, he was always in the right spots, knew how to just. You ever see him get smoked? Maybe a couple times, but yeah. not, like, yeah. heavily center ice. Like, on the you. boards, obviously, but. Yeah, yeah he was always, like, he was, he's, he's quick. He's yeah. shifty. He's quick. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that was his game. That's why he was so good. But his like rise, was or cra- is, his rise was actually. crazy. It was like every every stop he made, he was like he lit it up there. Like, remember, oh, like yeah. the World Juniors and then Boston uh, dude, College. Yeah, like, it was like one after well, the broke other. Bronix record, yeah, yeah, for the World Juniors that yeah. one season. I was like, Shh. it was like yeah. one like one stop after the other. He just kept lighting it mm-hmm. up and became like a, a headline. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. he was always a big fish. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Crazy, he had like perfect absolutely. timing too because uh, that time was like when the NHL was getting just faster and faster, and you didn't have to yeah. be big anymore. Yeah, and he like got got in there right at the right time, right. like right where size wasn't anything anymore. Yeah, yeah, and, had, yeah. and he was like less less hitting, obviously, but less. Hooking. Well, especially with the rule changes too. Yeah. Like they 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 were trying to make it around that time more of a finesse game. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, you still have your fights and everything in there, but it's not as prevalent as it used to be. Yeah, yeah. It used to be a rough game. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. And so like guys like him would never. Make it. Yeah. Like, you'd have like one, like Marty St. Louis, Louis was, was like the only Louis, one yeah. Yeah. who would like who could, get, and he was like an anomaly. Like everyone mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, look at this!" You know, he's a tiny guy, and then yeah. now there's a bunch of them. Yeah, but exactly. people always said that about Johnny. A lot, a lot of people growing up, they were like, oh, "This kid's not going to make it because he's small." Yeah, and you just, I, he, okay. I feel like you fed off of that stuff. He mm-hmm. was yeah. just like, "Okay, Dude, I'm that, all these people like, wrong, man." Yeah. It just, it just goes to show you. um like hockey in general is just different too. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But it's it's crazy because you see him on the street and it's like, yeah, it's weird. It's, it's just weird. I've seen him a couple times since then, yeah. dude. Yeah. He's, he's, he's normal. Dude. He's, a, he's a humble guy, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, he'll say hi. Oh like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Did you ever ask him why he went to Columbus instead of? Nah, like, it's, uh, I'm, for a month, I, I haven't. Is like, holy I mean, fuck, dude. Yeah. So ever since then, I haven't really. Obviously, I haven't been too close with him. Uh of course. But, yeah, I don't know. I mean, obviously there's options. I always thought maybe it was like, yeah, I want to go play with my boy Eric. Yeah. Which would be fine. It would be cool as hell. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's – I mean, Columbus is pretty close. Yeah. It's not that far. Yeah. So it's not like it, he's too far from home, so maybe mm-hmm. that's why. Right. Like he can just get on a quick flight over. Yeah. But, Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, plus the Flyers, like, couldn't afford him, Oh, right? my God. <laughs> well, they had a chance. One of the worst decisions they made. Try. They didn't even try, but they would have really liked them now. Yeah. Seriously. Yeah. Would, you'd be a great fit. Get, yeah. yeah. They would have ruined them. Let's be honest. <laughs> Flyer. All right. Flyers, guy, Flyers, Flyers ruin players. <laughs> what else you got, bud? All right, so you grew up around here, obviously. So are you a big Flyers fan? Absolutely. All right, on. so I like to ask, who would you compare your style of play to? Like, who was your favorite player? That's tough. I mean, as far as defensemen, I always – Duncan Keith was my guy, dude. Yeah, dude. Mm. Such a solid freaking player, man. That era. Oh, yeah. this, dude. This, this he's the Blackhawks like, defenseman. Yeah, yeah you like you wish you had him from back yeah. there, man. Yeah. yeah. And that's, that's I feel like pick. that's my good style of play. Like, yeah. I'll, especially like on a power play, I'm very good at staying up top and kind of setting everything up, yeah. getting everyone together. Love and, it. And he was so good at that, dude. What other defensemen were on that team? Like Seabrook? Brent Seabrook. Yeah, Seabrook. Yeah. Wasn't there a couple yeah. other ones? Seabiscuit, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In in the whole that whole run? Yeah, they had like a, like a squad of oh, defensemen. Dude, they did. They were unreal. Yeah. Yeah. Flyers ran too. So have you Juggernaut. always played defense? <laughs> no, so actually I played forward my whole life. Yeah. Mostly center. When did you make uh, the change? Why high did... school, actually. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, so Coach Kate kind of gave me the choice. He was like, listen, you're probably better off playing some defense. It's like, all right, I'll give it a go. Okay. And <laughs> honestly, I kind of just fell into it naturally. I feel like I had a good you read did. to, like, because obviously playing center, forward yeah. your whole, yeah, you're playing forward my whole life, I had a good understanding of how to, kind of control the situation so yeah it uh kind of just ended up coming pretty naturally to me very nice so like i said earlier in your amazing intro uh you are the captain of the hawks gold or at least you put it together right gold go yes. <laughs> <laughs> right up top so is this your first time putting a team together and like running it and like what, what are what are your um What's your outlook on it? Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, it's the ups and downs of it. Cause, yeah. Well, I mean, there's the ups and downs it sucks. of it. <laughs> I, mean, I think it's terrible. I hate running a team. Yeah. That's because you're bad at it. Excuse me. <laughs> well, especially when you get through it, too, you got to, like, you got to make tough decisions, especially, like, being in gold. So you want to compete with yeah. the best teams. Like, right now in our league, it's 24 7. So you're trying to put a team together that can stay up with them at least. Yeah. <laughs> so 
I mean, you got freaking Huff lighting it off all the time. <laughs> well, yeah. battle, you're battling Tom's GM skills, dude. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> so, I mean. Yeah, um, he, he, put, he put some juggernauts in. Yeah, I didn't even think about that, all three of you guys. No, we got a good right. squad, though. I mean, I made a couple of adjustments uh, coming into this next season. Okay. Uh, we added a couple guys. That's good. That we used to uh, play with, good too. Players. Yeah, so it's our buddy uh, Ryan. And, Ryan Megan. Uh, yeah, Eric Simone. Yeah. Added them on, so. Definitely very good. We got additions. a little like youth hockey reunion going on. No, yeah, dude, that is cool. Yeah, yeah. So we played with them. With Garrett too. I mean, I played with Corey when I was younger yeah. a lot. Um, it's cool. Wait, why are they just joining the U now? On? Well, say so they played for Paisanos this year. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Or this not this year. This session. This season, yeah. they played yeah. Paisanos. Okay. And uh, which is we, funny. Yeah. Then, then we found out he was like, dude. You run Hawks Gold? I was like, yeah, dude, come on board. <laughs> come but, on, dude. So I was actually line mates to Ryan Megan, yeah, and we yeah. we always. Played very well together. He's a good player. Nice. And we still got is Robbie. Robbie's coming back, right? And Genie. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I already locked that down. I was like, Robbie, come back. <laughs> yeah, right? I was going to say because <laughs> I think I think Dan Spence is a free agent. Yeah. Oh, is he? Yeah. I th- uh, now you're conflicted. Oh, yeah, that's right. For, oh, no. <laughs> Robbie's our Danny. I'm Robbie's, sorry. I love you. Not, Robbie's our guy. Dude. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Savage monkey. Yeah, Robbie's I do great. love you, Danny. Yeah, Robbie's great. Very cool. All right, so since you do play in multiple divisions, I like to ask this question. Which um, which one is your favorite to play in? Like, do you like the more challenging gold, or do you like silver where you're a little more comfortable in? Um, <laughs> and who, who do you like playing against the most? I mean, obviously, when it, I mean, when it comes to gold, I love playing against 24-7 just because you're, you're trying to have – you want that challenge. Yeah, like, facts. I like, <clears throat> like trying to shut down – like someone as good as Huff, like mm-hmm. I'm like – it, it just makes you want to play better. I saying Zucker as well. Like they got a, they got a real solid squad yeah, up there. Yeah. But I mean, even in silver, dude. Like we have very good matchups. Yeah. Like it's always it's always good time. It's a grindy game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's competitive. Um, if I had to pick, I don't think I really could. I enjoy both. They I enjoy both of them for their own reasons. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but I mean, silver. I mean, silver's not a joke either. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. We have a, we, it's a growing division as well. Teams are getting better and better. So, yes, yeah. so who do you like playing against? Is it twenty four seven? Is that like? Well, I mean, for who, who do you look forward to? No, well, I mean, both. Both. Who do you look forward to the most? Getting on the ice when you hear oh that we're playing them tonight. Let's go. Well, the little freaking pigeons in silver. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, a little preview. For a little Let's later. go. Uh, baby. We're coming hard, baby. <laughs> wait, hard. wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Raid City. One second. Uh, they did rebrand from the pigeons, but we know you're talking. Oh, about. that's right. Yeah, they're still City pigeons now. to us. Dude. Uh, yeah, still. Pigeons. I forgot they got rid of the pigeons part. Yeah. I told Tom I loved it. Even birds. when like, even when you're like one twenty four sevens like smoking us, like I just it's still fun. Like I just still yeah. love like chasing them down and shit and trying to. Like I was still want to make it eight to one. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, absolutely, absolutely. Like, yeah. Because if you I, do, I, you, I told Tom that I'm like I still have a fucking blast. Playing you you know what them. it is? Because if you do something well against them, yeah, it, it, like your confidence gets like yeah, it's, much yeah. higher. It's yeah. just, of course, it's just the challenge, bro. It's nice. It's fun. It's awesome. That's gonna be like you guys playing against me basketball. <laughs> it's like if you guys make a layup I w- against, I me, will take like, the same approach. I'll still want to beat you, even if you're beating me ten nothing. Hold on, coming back to last podcast. Steve really thinks he could back down Jerry. I don't, I don't know what he. I don't know of course, what he thinks. I've played Jerry a million times. Yeah, that's the thing. And how does that work out it. for you? Uh, it never works. He out just well. has the size advantage. Obviously, I'm always on him defensively, but I've I've stopped him a few times oh, when he misses a layup or misses a shot or whatever. And then uh, I've scored on him. He's full shit. <laughs> anyway, I did a hook shot right over your head that one time. <laughs> Right in the middle. I cut right to the middle and gave him a little. Yeah, his eyes were closed. A little Jay shot. <laughs> Shut up. Dude. Eyes were closed. Um. All right. So <laughs> now we're going to get into the non-hockey questions. Uh, let's dive into, you know, what will someone catch you doing? I know you're a big golfer. Outside of hockey? <laughs> Outside of we're hockey. We're on the course, baby. Uh, hitting the links. <laughs> I love it. What's your handicap? Uh, do, you keep, do you keep that? I got to say this. Yeah, what do you what do you shoot? What I'm, do you, I'm a 16 handicap. Okay. I'm your I'm your average golfer. I'm more your camaraderie golfer. Yes. I go out to have a good time. My boys hit a couple good that's shots. Yeah, You're you're 16 stuff. handicap? Yeah, really? That's yeah. the best I mean, golfer though. So best yeah. best I've ever shot was a 79. Broke 80 one time. Nice. <laughs> through that's and ridiculous. through, it was it was true. Yeah. Um, haven't sniffed it since. Yeah. Couldn't even come. Yeah, dude, I've never broken. I mean, I shot an You're typically like mid 80s. I thought no. Yeah, I sit around like 84, 85 ish. Yeah. I'm yeah. like I said, I'm your average. Offer that's for the most part. That's way better though. If you play with a guy who's shooting like 
And then he's waiting for you the whole time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, well, a yeah. couple of our buddies are like. Well, that. you're average when you talk about our buddies, but well, yeah. 84, 85. That's above. Well, that's yeah, yeah it's, it's well, it's above, well above your <laughs> average golfer per se. Yeah. Yep. Um, but the guys I play with, uh, my buddy Garrett, Drew, there's a couple of these guys. They're like low handicaps. They, they come into the outing. They shoot. Hey, we know Garrett, oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. But they shoot mid to low seventies con- consistently. Yep. Wow. And it's like watching That's those ridiculous. guys shoot. I'm like, yeah. how do you do this, man? <laughs> <laughs> Golf's yeah. tough. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dude, My best score was a 92. That's not bad, though. <laughs> it's not good. It's but not it's not bad. bad. Yeah, but that's the best. That's I, usually what I try to get. Yeah, I'm usually in the yeah. mid 90s and pushing 100. I try to most get most people 90. have a hard time breaking 100. Yeah, yeah. no, I usually break 100. That's me, dude. But <laughs> no, <laughs> you get, no, no. Listen, I've golfed with Steve. This is you want to know what Steve does? All right, Steve plays three holes. Yes. Then gets hammered <laughs> <laughs> and only and only wants to putt. At the end of that. <laughs> and then that's it. No, 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 no. That is what we've done recently because I stopped golfing. So I don't, you don't, you need that. You Tell me that's not accurate though. Now it, it is. is. <laughs> yeah, it is now. But back, uh, probably about a few years ago, we used to play like twice a week. Me, Brian, Joe, Tom. Right. So what courses are around here? Uh, we got Latona is right down the street. Uh, they're building Trump National or Trout National right down the street. Yeah, yeah. but we'll never be able to touch that course, never. unfortunately. No. Never. No. Hey, don't uh, say never. Well, yeah. They're Eastland. building walls around it. You can't even watch. Can't when the U <laughs> makes it, they're going to be inviting us in. Say yes, less. Exactly. So, outing? Yes. Hold uh, up. <laughs> there's quite a bit, man. Um, not too far from here. Like, Running Deer is probably like 20 minutes away. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's beautiful course, away. dude. Uh, yeah, running love deer Running Deer. Nice. Love Running Deer, deer man. Yeah. What is the, what's that? White Oaks? Oh, oh yeah, White yeah, Oaks. Yeah, White that's Oaks. A, that's not too far from here. Oh, it's not? Yeah, I guess it's not. Eastland's right around the corner. I got like two golf courses around the corner and then Trout. It's probably close. We play sometimes. I'm gonna, oh, link, I'm gonna link the outing video in this one because <laughs> there's a there's a special scene in that where oh, Steve goes and he puts, <laughs> tries to put a putt yeah. off and just misses it and runs so, away. <laughs> so real quick, I we used to golf all the time, and I actually like I never uh, my short games was really good, and um, not I guess obviously not so much anymore because I don't golf as much, but I would struggle like to be in like the 90s. But I I think I've I've shot like a 95 or something yeah. like that. It's yeah. all consistency. Yeah. I, just, I feel like it really is. But usually like 100. Practice. Yeah. Like 10. So, I mean, a lot of my games, uh, I save myself a lot. So, anywhere inside of like 50 yards, I do this little nine iron punch. Nice. And I'm, I've am i like perfected Your money. it. I, Your money I, with I perfected it? perfected yeah. it. And that saves me so many strokes. <laughs> I'm, I'm a pretty good putter as well. Yeah. yeah. But the rest of my games kind of just like hit or miss. Hit or miss. Like, yeah. I could be absolute dog shit one day and then somehow it just comes together one day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I feel that. All right. So you still with us, Jer? No. So here's what here's because you guys put me on the spot and you said you really wanted a would you rather question. Oh, whoa! Let's go. Right? Did you not before we started? I, I, I said I said if you were going to come up with a question, it's the Marcus, your guy. Would you rather? Would I rather? Would you rather? <laughs> say you're single. Get with the girl of your dreams one <laughs> one time. Oh Lord. Or you're putting me in a bad spot. Yeah. Or <laughs> or get with your worst enemy, who's a woman, as many times as you want. Wait, but that's the only person you get to do it with. So the girl of your dreams, one time, and then you can't do it anymore. Oh, to nobody ever, ever again. Or <laughs> the girl that you hate the most in this world, like your worst oh, enemy. Shit. But you could do it just with her forever, forever. I mean, you gotta have the tongue action forever. Right? Oh my god, <laughs> oh, dude! <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? I mean, that's, I, that's not even a question. <laughs> Steve, Steve, whoa! What the hell? I just did not see that comment. No, I did not see that answer coming. <laughs> that's the thing about me. You never know what I'm going to say. Oh <laughs> my tell, goodness! Or <laughs> do <laughs> apparently. <laughs> hey, oh. All right, all right. Oh, well, man, that, yeah. that's um, <laughs> uh, that's. Um, <laughs> I was inspired by uh, the question that he gave Spencer. And I'm like, if there was any guest that you, you were uh, going to ask, ask a question like that, too. Because like, yeah, the, the market will just say shit. Yeah. What was what was Spencer's? It was, oh, just, boy. Uh, I forget, it was something, something about, would you rather get caught um, doing your sister <laughs> or <laughs> doing your dog? <laughs> caught by your parents, dude. Caught by your parents. Would you rather be caught by your parents dude. doing your dog? And, and Spencer was sister? just like. <laughs> Wait, like my stepsister? <laughs> no, 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 your actual sister. Let's not go down this road. Again, we should have uh, cut that, I, out of that first one. 
<laughs> yeah, bro. He picked Spencer of all people to ask that. He question. really did. He put Spencer no, on no, the no. spot. We're like, Come I want to tell you why. I want to tell everybody, everybody why. These guys, these two right here, are the biggest bullies in the world, right? So I a- shut, shut it. Let me talk. <laughs> So I asked, I asked a, a question, and they gave me the hardest time. Like it was a low key PG que- what if question, and they're like, "No, that's terrible. You need to go better. You need to go bigger." I was like, "Fine. You want me to go bigger? I'll go bigger. Bang your dog or bang your sister. Tell me what you want." <laughs> All right. Yeah, Jack. I got to say, historically, your would you rather questions have been fantastic. Thank yeah. you. Thank you're usually you. nice and balanced and good, but yeah, yeah I mean, you hit the extremes, and it's, like, it's yeah, supposed yeah. to make you think about. That's fine. It. That's like, fine. So this was. Um, uh, what would you guys do? Your worst enemy for the rest of your life, and that's the only person you get to do it with, or the girl of your dreams. Like I'm talking fantasy. Yeah, but I honestly, I don't talking have like any... Carmen Electra. Like yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit, like Carmen Electra. Like I don't still. Nah. Did he answer the dog or sister? Question? <laughs> <laughs> he, he did not. He did not. I mean, I gave the no, semi answer okay, to dude. it. <laughs> um, I don't. I can't. I couldn't even think of an enemy, like a female enemy. Just somebody who just irritates you more than anything in the world. That could be a turn-on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't... I mean, I would... Like, you can't just do it once. Yeah, exactly. Like your drink. So, like, you know... I, but then I'd you can never do it again. Life. Yeah, I know. Uh, hey, listen. I don't know. That's why it's what, what... Would you rather? There's no right yeah. answer. It's whatever. I don't know, dude. Okay. Uh, <laughs> See? It's one You didn't even Google that either. You just came up with that yourself. Uh, yeah, I started writing it, it and then I kind of just went <laughs> Give I, just, it a gig. I just went for it. I had a really funny answer. I'll, I'll tell you that my funny answer out, out, off the pod. Off the no, pod. No, we can do it right now. No, you got uh, j- just a little bit. <laughs> uh you, are we hopping into just a little bit? <laughs> if you're done with the uh Nicholas DeMarco that interview. Is, that is the Nicholas DeMarco and I owe you an intro. There it is. I expect it. <laughs> you got applause though. Dude. I owe you an intro and I, I will give love those it. out a lot. <laughs> that wasn't really thunderous. <laughs> So you just made a putt. Bro. Yeah, dude, it does. I was literally <laughs> just going to say that. It was a, it was a golfer's one. All right, so Tiger just piss pump, double boogie. <laughs> so we'll get into just a little bit. Where just a little bit is where we take a few minutes to have a bit of fun. All right, so I don't have my music, but just a little bit. Mm, 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 mm. Just a little bit. All right. <laughs> ah, push it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so with the whole um, hype going on with the Ovechkin uh, Gretzky. Oh, jeez. Chase. Mm. We're going with top 10. I want you guys to guess who's on the list of top 10 highest scorers, goal scorers in a regular season in the NHL. Okay. Let's go. Like right this season? The, no, ever. 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 <laughs> I have my list. Oh, wait. I have top 10. Oh, wait. Gretzky Oveskin. Okay. Yep. Gretzky Oveskin. Uh, one, two. Yager. Yager, four. Lemieux. Bro, I'm useless. Lemieux with up this. there. He didn't. Have, I don't know if he. I'm had trying to that think of like guys from back in the day that could have lit it up. Yeah, they're like it's like Mike Bossy. Probably. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got uh, Yammer <laughs> Yager. All right, go. Who else? Bossy? Lemieux is not on there. Yeah, Mike Bossy. Really? Bossy. Yeah. Bossy's not on there. there. There's Islanders on there. There's an Islander who scored a ton of goals. There Dude, is. I'm there like is no Islander. No. Mm-mm. There's. Oh, fuck. They're all older. They got to be older. There's a few uh, older. There's a few like '90s. Who is that? The Rocket. Maurice. I forget. I'll show you Rocket later. Rocket Richard. Wait, what? Oh, Richard? we're talking Richard. about hockey. Oh, okay, never mind. Rocket Richard. Maurice Rocket <laughs> Richard. Uh, no. No? Mm-mm. Yeah, I'm never going to get yeah, it. I'm, not, again, I'm definitely not. There's a few good, good ones. Think um, uh, Blues. Brett Hall. Brett Hall. Uh, yeah, give me some more teams. Brett Hall. Um, let's go. There's a couple Detroit Red Wings on I was going to say there. Red Wings. Uh, yep. Yeah. There's one Mr. Hockey. Gordy Howe. Gordy Howe's number three. So yeah. Brett Hull was number five. So right now we got the top five, which is Wayne Gretzky, Ovechkin, um, Gordy Howe had 801, Yager had 766, Brett Hull 741. Damn. Let me call out Jerry real quick. Pure evil. Right, He's rooting go. against Ovechkin 100%. for beating the record. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Why? Why, Be- dude? I don't want him to get it. Because of a simple wager. Dude. I, no, 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 I just didn't want him to get it. Oh. Why? why? Dude, Ovi. Ovi's the best goal spe- scorer ever. My, I, want, I, want, minus, I want Gretzky to keep it. Well, plus being one of the best goal scorers of all time, especially on the power play from that left side, dude. That one yeah. time was I just unmatched. feel like. Uh, listen, he but is he's a also good a physical scorer. player as well. He is, he is, but he doesn't like 
earn a lot of his goals of, of oh recent. What do you consider earn? He just <laughs> stands there, literally doesn't move. Oh, my God. Doesn't okay. move. How many goals do you score doing that? Uh, well, <laughs> none. But if I just stood there and had somebody just keep feeding me. You yeah. could not. We could feed you all day long. You forget my game winner. <laughs> do you forget my game winner? Come on, man. I was in the slot. I ov the shit out of that. <laughs> All right. So don't even talk to me. All right. Top six or ten. Six through ten. Come on. Name some teams again. Uh, so we got uh, uh, Detroit. We have a couple of Rangers This might on be there. stupid, but is Datsuk in there? No. What? Uh, if, there's got to be someone I know from Detroit, right? Yeah, big one. You should know. It's your, Come on, your first name. Eisenman Stevie oh, Y. Nice. Stevie yeah. Y is number 10 at 692. Okay. Okay. Wow. Stevie Y. Right. Yep. What other teams? Um, only the greatest ranger of all time. Messier. Let's go. Uh, number nine, 694. And then I'll tell you, the last three, I didn't know, so I had to write their teams down. <laughs> but um, all of them played for the Rangers at one point. So That doesn't help us. Who, who was their main team? Uh Rangers, Did, we got De- is not, he's an oiler. Oiler, yeah, I know. Uh, Detroit, Chicago, Washington. What is it? Is it Chris? Uh, wait, hold on. Who's Ch- Chelios? Chelios? Nah, Chelios? No, no, nah. no. Chelios is not on there. Give me a first name for the one in Washington. Um, Mike. Michael. <laughs> I don't know. Say it. Mike. Mike Gartner. Oh, okay. nah. Is number eight. He played for um, he Washington, did. Montreal, New Maybe York Rangers, know, Toronto, is. and Phoenix. Right. And he has seven oh eight and number eight. All right. All right. So we need six and seven. All right. Give me first name and team. Marcel. Never heard of this guy. Dion. Marcel Dion played for Detroit, the Kings, and the Rangers. Isn't that at, crazy how you can be in top ten all the time? They, I don't know. Goals right. was like still don't know who you are. Yeah, but yeah. people uh, scored a lot of goals in the eighties. Yeah. He has oh, no, I, I know, but still well, think like about before the eighties, dude. Yeah, like, that, that dude's too, a legend. Yeah. yeah, he is. You know what I mean? Like yeah. seven hundred and thirty one and number six. And then number seven. Phil Esposito, Esposito. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chicago, Chicago. yeah, one. Chicago, okay. Boston, and again, New York Rangers. Okay, well, so you know <laughs> they've been around a while, dude. Yeah, you know, yeah, well, right. cool. top, was good, Jared. Top good. six, that was good. So that is top ten goal scorers. Ovechkin's going to smash the record. The uh, he will score nine hundred. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So yeah, uh, but if we look at point, no, no, you know what, you know what else we need to look at? Um, Longevity. No, not not even that. Uh, uh, playoffs. So playoffs. Gretzky has a lot more in playoffs and points in general. He's doubling them in points because yeah. of all of his assists. Oh well, yeah, yeah Gretzky was yeah. amazing. It's yeah, of course, but he wasn't even a, like a the, a good goal scorer. He wasn't really like he was a good goal scorer, but he wasn't a goal scorer. I actually have a good question for you guys. Mm-hmm. If you put obviously, it's a very hard question to answer. But if you put Gretzky in today's era, I think he would do. do you well. think he's Shit. as dominant? Yes, he would. Yes. Yes, he would. IQ? You think so? Yes. IQ, Hockey, better IQ can be there. I was the about game, to say. The skates. game's faster. It doesn't matter. He would adapt, man. He was that good. It, it, IQ, I think the equipment, he would be so much better. And nobody would touch him the same way nobody touches yeah, you the, the, the players. He now. didn't have to get hooked and, and yeah. pulled and dragged right. around. Yeah. He'd be, have so much more space. Yeah. IQ, I don't think. Like, I got to watch some Gretzky highlights. I don't know. You yeah. don't necessarily need speed if you have. Good IQ. He would probably sure. not score as many goals. He I knew where think. to be. He wouldn't score as many goals, he but he probably would rack up fucking 120 assists a season. Yeah, providing I, providing I, they put him on a on a team. I'm usually on the other side of that argument way. because athletes are just so much better today. Yeah, yeah, but he would adapt. I think he. But would, we're not talking about that. We're talking about his. We're talking about his game in that time, and and just take him and put him in, implant him into today's game. Not adapting or anything. Well, the like game's that. yeah, game's a lot different. Yeah, but think about but. when the game first started, when he first started, to when he ended. He's still dominant, and he he would adapt to the game as yeah. it changed. So I think he That's would, like, yeah. as a player, of course. Let's he like say would, Michael Jordan wouldn't be good today's game. Well, I was going to say he, so, he like would. Brady, like Brady went through that rough era as well in football. Like yeah. he he got smoked when he was younger, yeah. 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 and, and I he mean he's still evolved with the game. He's obviously. The goat, Dude, yeah. or you hear him? He said he top. might come back. He's not coming. Back. He's, he He's might come back. Around. I know, but that was pretty funny. He takes, yeah, but yeah, Gretzky would be, yeah, definitely a top ten player at yeah. the very least. I think so yeah. too. Fair enough. Fair uh, enough. So too. Would he yeah. score two thousand something points? I don't know, but 
Yeah. I mean, yeah. What, what, 1,800 assists? Or yeah, something, it's something like that. crazy. I mean, dude, he's, yeah, he's, he's ridiculous. Yeah, but imagine him, like I said, with better oh, actually, the skates, the the yeah. medical, like the recovery and all the stuff. He used to eat, would drink like Coca-Cola mm, and eat yeah. hot dogs, dude. <laughs> Like, imagine him not doing like that. Like John Daly. Smoke <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Got a bogue in the locker. And, uh, yeah. Shaking dude. a beer. <laughs> What's the course record? Where's the first tee? Yeah. But his, like, I think his his best asset was his hockey IQ. Yeah, that's like, fair. Like you said, Absolutely. he knew where everything was. He kind of reminds me of, like, like, who has a better IQ is, like, Crosby. Not better than Gressy. I'm saying, like, right. that that level. And he's just the super strong. And, yeah. yeah. So. Fair enough. But Ovechkin will beat it. The bet is... Jerry has to buy me a an authentic Ovechkin jersey if Ooh. Ovechkin wins the uh, beats his record, and beats I don't even record. know what the, the. I told you I wanted I wanted a Wayne right a New York Rangers oh, yeah, yeah. Gretzky jersey. Yeah, yeah, you're not getting that, dude. How far away is he? Like forty two uh, goals. Eight ninety four. So and he's OV, one more season essentially. Yeah. yeah. Ov has eight fifty two. So what's going to happen to Ovechkin? I never wish injury on don't anyone. Go and he's not going to get go injured. There. Don't go there. You're going to get gonna, hate he's, mail, dude. He's oh, going to go. God. They're going to for some reason. He's going to go back to Russia, and then they're not going to let him out. He's going to play in some That's, Russian he's team. Not. So and then man. he's going to be stuck. He's there playing out to his end of his contract, which is what Russian machine never break. He's a big man. <laughs> Russia how, machine dude, don't break. He's like he's like a John Daly. He he yeah. does not like take care of himself like an athlete does, and he still yeah. is just insane. But he had like a rough season and still going to have thirty something goals. Yeah. So he's going to come out and by this time it'll be broken by this time next year. I think. In Russia, we play hockey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, Jerry. That's thanks what that. we, thank you for that. Just a little thanks. bit. We That's what we that. do. Everyone this week, hate uh, on Jerry for that. What? Everyone. Yeah. Comment. They're not. They're all going to agree with me. Everybody's going to agree with me. Every that, hockey nope. fan. Every there's hockey not fan. a single hockey yes, fan. They're all out there. A real hockey they're fan or player nobody that wants does not want Ovechkin to break. Nah, nobody wants Ovechkin. Everyone me. thought that it was unbreakable. Well, that's the thing. I mean, you're casual. The, the people that are stuck in the back of like the era before this, I feel like they love to hate. On people who are going to break those records, now. I feel like this is yeah, like a, like, like the whole LeBron. Yeah, this exactly. is the whole LeBron Jordan thing. But LeBron's not even second. LeBron's not even second in the conversation. What are you he's best player about? ever. Yeah, he's, he's one. Second. Oh my god, he's one. Oh my god, he's one. one of the. He's the most dominant player of all time. I'm going to quit yeah. the you. Are you I'm, kidding me? Mo, all right, Dude, you want to go forty? And he's averaging like you want to go. You want to go most dominant? Pl- you want to go most dominant player? I'm not even going to go short. Shaq is by far the most. He changed the game. Well, that's, Shaq that's is the most. Dude, he's got size, dom- it doesn't dude. matter. There's a conversation I, a guy, we had there, but a guy that big that can move like that and power with four guys on his back. Dude, Come on! If I was a million feet tall, I would do that too. No, and he was playing no, with plumbers half his fucking. No, you wouldn't because there are so many. There are <laughs> so many. They fucking left and there are so. Their day job, dude. There are so. <laughs> there are so many instances that tall guys can't do. Greg Oden, where did he go? Yao Ming could have been better, but he he didn't. Like there are so many tall guys that still don't make it. LeBron number one, dude. Bobo. I, think, <laughs> I think you need Bobo. Differ- so I think you need to differentiate. Dominance with best clutch player ever. plays with clutch plays. Jordan. LeBron has made Jordan. more clutch plays than anybody ever. Oh my god! LeBron has it, it dude, statistically it, has made many more clutch shots. Dude, being clutch, dude, putting them in good situations. Dude, he leave. is a god. I'm I'd gonna, argue that Kobe was better than Jordan. Kobe, Kobe, Kobe stole won with less. everything from Jordan. If there was Kobe no, with less. if there was no <laughs> Jordan, there would be no Kobe. If there was no. Kobe or Jordan, there'd be no LeBron. If there was no Pippen, there'd be no what Jordan. What the hell Let's go. are we talking about right now? What Dude, number does LeBron here's, wear? Here's, what number does LeBron wear? Six. Here's what it is. Fucking A. <laughs> here's what it is. Jordan was an outlier in his time. Now there are ten Jordans. No. no. Yes, there are. Yeah. Well, when you're Dude, talking about you scoring s- dominance, Dude, stick a, a prime... Kawhi Leonard in Jordan's era, mm-hmm. he's going to do what Jordan did. Do you want to hear? You want, you went you to, want, I'm surprised you went to Kawhi. You, I love Kawhi's good. Kawhi's good. Prime. Do you want to hear something Prime funny? Kawhi. You want to hear something KD funny? Is I heard this, is would do the same thing that Jordan. Let me. Do, let me. I just, just can't believe you didn't say Steph. Because well, Steph's Curry's, different. Yeah, Steph, Steph changed the game. Steph ruined the game. In that man opinion. hits a <laughs> shot from wherever he. Wants, I know, and that's dude. why he ruined the game because he now every he changed the game, and I think for the worse. 
He's great at what yeah, he does. There's no Maybe, fundamental yeah. basketball yes, anymore. Yeah. Yes. Like I want the ninety, the two thousand Spurs back. Like I want basketball uh, like that. You like the Pistons, dude. The two thousand four or whatever. With Chauncey. Were, with the, when they yeah, with Prince <laughs> Chauncey. Yeah, yeah, they were fun to watch, man. They were good. Jerry's that's why they won. Basketball podcast. Here's here's <laughs> <sticking> your European <laughs> players. You may be the fundamentals. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, the European yes. players, and that's why they're yeah. dominant. And and that's why they look like they're not even trying. Like the Lucas, the Joe Kicks, like all them. That's why they look like they're not even trying because they got fundamentals down and they're just dominating athletes, and not UAB, basketball yeah. players. UABL is growing more legs by Ath- the week. Athletes, I basketball But I do, players. we do Different. need to get into our, our yes, UHL so playoffs uh, spots better. and stuff like that. So Wait, can I, just say one thing? can I just say one thing? One thing, one thing no, real quick. No, dude. Real quick, real quick. Nah. Because this is, real quick, real quick, real quick. All right, so I heard, some, I, I, I heard somebody say this. It's like, how many people have gotten, like, killed or beat up when t- to steal their LeBrons. That's Never. the stupidest thing. How many people get jumped for their Jordans? How many people get jumped for their Jordans? You, 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 you can mean, argue dude. a lot of negative Are things about what Jordan shoes did Jordan. to people. Yeah. Jordans. No, that's so a whole, that's up. not that is not Jordan. Right. Yeah, but that's Stop that's, not, that's LeBron. an unfair Stop. argument. That's an unfair argument. That's, 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 a, that's, a that's the dumbest no. argument. Greatest argument. No good. Good argument. That's reaching. Invalid. Good argument. We should have muted this mic like I said. You're talking about shoes that came out like 20 years ago that are like one of ones that have an insane market value. It's a different story. Well, We'll see if LeBron's guys. Well, in twenty Mark years, maybe the first one. edition of LeBron's the only, might no. be worth just as much. Wait, so who's number two? What if what? If Jordan's number one, I just, think Kobe. I honestly, I think so. Kobe. Are the Kobe's? Uh, you know, I gave you the list. Remember, I, 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 gave you my, I gave you my top Did five. People co- kill over Kobe shoes? No, because no. Jordan's number one. I'm not making an <laughs> argument. If you made an argument it's of Kobe, argument. No, but it's then not. your argument's also relevant to How? the LeBron's because there's so many other factors that go into the shoes. Yes. Yeah. It's because it's the greatness. Listen. They are slaves to nostalgia, is what they are. Yeah. They can't what? let that go. I know. They can't let oh it go. Oh, my God. They can't let it go. All right, Stop. guys. Go. Guys. <laughs> well, back to the U, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Not the UABL. This week's episode oh, of Inside soon. the U is presented by UHL Events. Let's go. So, guys, hey. this June, Summer Series 2024 in the UHL Experience is coming to where? Summer Series. Atlantic Let's City go. Skate Zone <laughs> on June 21st through, the Ju- for, through June 23rd. Um, and I got to say, it, of course, like everything else, it'll be over the top both on and off the ice. So yes. Besides for the usual competition, we're setting up with uh, Resorts Casino for discounted room rates. Um, by the time this goes up, you guys should have a link in the bio. You can go check those out. Uh, we'll have a uh, playing card set up, too, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So anybody so, who signs hey. up, all the players will get you playing cards for yeah. resorts because when you're going to oh. stay there, you're going to play. We're going to have some fun. It's going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> what do you? Uh, what is on the playing card? They have uh, like a slot value or something? Or no, like no, no. It's just a, it, yeah, a few just, buckaroos. Can nah, you free money? No, there's no money on it. It's just nah. playing card that you get. You know, benefits. The more you play, you get more benefits for okay. at the resorts. Yeah. yeah. It's just like any playing. We're going to set up a little. Got a nice uh, welcome little UHL party. Got yes. Nice, yes. Uh, we, yes. We will have. I mean, it's still in the works, so I don't want to give out too many details that might not come to fruition but it will be we're gonna, we're will. planning on having come to a yeah it will but we're planning on having a welcome party friday night and then we're planning on having maybe some drink specials drink tickets something going on uh for the saturday majority party of I'm saturday drinking on the beach playing hockey and gambling yes Ooh, i'm talking about party around the craps table <laughs> and, then, <laughs> yes. and then Sunday's the other is gonna be worthless for playoffs dude. <laughs> yeah. no one's gonna show up dude. and then the, the other thing that we're planning on doing is having a uh some type of shuttle system yes. shuttle credit shuttle something to get you from resorts to the ac skate zone and the other thing that we have um Back and forth. Solidified. Yeah, back and forth. The other thing that we solidified is that players can leave their bags at AC Skate Zone so you don't have to lug them back and forth. We'll have a secure area, whether it's a locker room or a section in the, you know, the arena. Yeah. But you can leave your stuff with your team. Um, and that way makes life easier and more fun and less stinky. Yeah. Go across, guy, the, go across the street, buy yourself a Corvette. Yeah, yeah man. Nice. Buy me a Corvette. <laughs> buy everybody, if you really want Wait, to. Wait, what's your car? Is it your when you vet. Don't, don't you want the, the GTR? <laughs> the, por- the Porsche. Oh, yeah, you want the Porsche. The 911 GT3. Porsches. But I will settle for a C8 Corvette. Oh, i will settle. I'll, I'll settle. settle for oh, a Z06, sorry. yeah. <laughs> All right, so the registration link for that went live um, a few days ago. Uh, spots are filling up quick. We do have some limited spots available okay. now, so head over to the link in our bio and grab your team spot as soon as possible. Yes. I advise it uh, again June 21st to the 23rd. Yes. In partnership with Resorts Casino at the Atlantic City Skate Zone, baby. Let's go. When did we announce it? Two days ago? 
The yes. registration link went live two days ago. Yeah, with the, with we the are post, so. already half full. We're yes. doing it live. <laughs> so uh, if you're thinking about it, if you're on the fence, you have to you have to register uh, because it will fill up and we will not have any rooms. There's only one rink at AC Skate Zone. Yeah. So yeah, we, we're, we're, capped. Only, we're capped at 10 teams. So um, get on it. So Let's are we go. doing the same thing as usual? Like we'll have a tier one division essentially in tier two? Yep. That's the idea. We're coming okay. for scoops, baby. Yeah, yeah like, man, I'm tired of Sunday these guys, boys, man. Dude. <laughs> I'm tired we to take them down. We are. This no problem. Dude. All right. Speaking of <laughs> taking them down, should we get into our league updates here, boys? Yeah, that's some some significant progress since our last episode. Yeah. So we we ran mm-hmm. through uh, semifinals and our playing game. So we have our final set. Yeah. So let's start with gold. Uh, Team twenty four seven beat Armada fifteen to three. Uh, as expected, uh, you know that's a tough that's a tough matchup for Armada. Yeah, not a great person. How did that happen? I thought we had ten goals before the second period. Yeah, it ah, probably happened. Yeah. Oh, man. So um, it did end end early, but it, you know it doesn't happen until the third period where we cut it off. So gotcha. Uh, so Night's Watch beat Hawks Gold. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> Uh, six to four. That was uh, you guys were very short, and that is a very close six game. Guys, hey, we man. we six guys we gave it a run. Yeah. We gave yeah, it a run, dead. dude. That's the weird thing about gold, man. That's the mo. It's like no one shows up, and they you guys run with like seven, eight. Yeah, nine. it made no sense. Dude. Usually, <laughs> people show up for playoffs. Yeah, I got these guys. They're like, oh, we have a game tomorrow. I was like, are you kidding me? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I just had a month ago. I think the the yes. couple weeks a uh, couple weeks off ended up. <clears throat> I don't yeah, know if it was, was just people. Was people kind of put it on the back burner. Yeah. Um, yeah. But either way, we gave. I mean, I've offered yeah, we my services run, over and good, over and over. It was over. a good game, dude. I gotta it's say, good. bro. Nothing. Before we go any further, shout out to Lip and Cod, dude. He's so freaking <laughs> yeah, good. Man. I know that's what I was saying. Their goalie's yeah. so solid. That's nice, dude. So he fucking covers everything up. Dude. Team twenty four seven will be playing Night's Watch in the finals. That starts Monday. Yeah, buddy. Right. So uh, we had two playing games on Monday as well. Uh, bronze plus and bronze. The Knights beat Moonshine Hockey Club seven to four. Sorry, Meatball. Sorry to see that. Um, I was rooting for Moonshine. Well, he did. He did, to his credit, he said Knights have been their biggest, uh, yes. you know, competitor. He said, so if we, he's uh, like, if we if get through we, the Knights, if we yeah. get through a little the rivalry building there. Yeah, he knew. He knew they that, were tough. That's a tough matchup, man, yeah. because you're playing a you know the the reigning champs and yeah. and they have a lot of you know a lot of great players. So, mm-hmm. uh, second playing game in bronze, the Jersey Tropics beat the Chuggernauts nine to five. Uh, so the Tropics get their. Uh, you know, get past the playing game into the semifinals. Love the jerseys, by the way. The traps. Yeah, yeah it's I pretty like sick. They're, they're coming up with another, I think, a white uh, yeah. alternate. Ooh. Yeah, nice. So, yeah, I definitely suggest everybody have two different color teams because as we get, these divisions get so big, yeah. mm-hmm. everyone has, like, the same color. You have yeah, to have two different color yeah, jerseys. Yeah, absolutely. It's crazy. Uh, so, silver semifinals kicked off. Rain City uh, beat Multi Ducks 10-0. That ended early. Uh, and... Hawks, baby. Hello. Let's go. Uh, Hawks beat the Blue Chew Bulldogs 8-6. to six. Uh, Reach our seventh straight finals. <laughs> Is it seven? Seventh straight finals. Hawks, Hawks dynasty, uh, baby. Let's Hawks go. We got to convert. convert. We got to convert. Uh, yeah. We've uh, lost the last two, so we got to fucking The first something. one was tough, bro. The, first, the more that I think about it, when we lost to Dexter, I was like, oh, my God. It was, that was such a bullshit we game. Uh, we shouldn't have lost yeah. We lost by a goal, and uh, it was that was some shenanigans happening in that game. So, yeah. uh, to me, we really should have, we should have, you know. I don't, I don't care, know care if I they took it away or not, man, these freaking pigeons. We're coming <laughs> yeah. after them. Yeah. Well, shout out to the Bulldogs. That was a good game, though. Yeah, yeah Bulldogs played good. good game. Uh, I feel like they outplayed us a little bit. They kind of hit us they were in solid. the mouth, yeah. if you will, in the first period. I think second period, we played like our, our best period yeah. in a long time. So. Yeah. We tend Steve to do that. with two goals? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I had a couple yeah, of goals. Yeah, Stevie. Thanks. You back? My, maybe. <laughs> Last one, thanks Coming to back. Nick over here. Yes, Made it sir. pretty easy to me. I think I, I definitely think I closed my eyes on that one. Um, <laughs> a little easy deflection. Easy one. Uh, I don't even know how I went in, honestly. I was in such a yeah, weird it angle. It snuck in through, yeah. like, his pad in the post. Yeah. I was go? surprised to stop. I thought it was outside of the net. I was like, oh, that went in. No, he's Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Dunlop's uh, Jersey Tropics. Turned it over really quick because they had to go right from their uh, play-in game. And then that Thursday, they played the Camden County yeah. Warriors. Oh, shoot. Uh, they made their first finals, so they beat Camden County Warriors 6-1. to one. So congrats to uh, Jersey good. Tropics. They're right, in drops. there. Uh, JMCC Auto beat the Plugs 9-2. to two, yes, So we will have a Jersey Tropics versus JMCC Auto uh, bronze finals. Let's That'll go. be a pretty good series, I think. Nice, yeah. Um, bronze plus. Thundercats beat the Stars 3-2 to two in a closed game. Mm-hmm. Tough Blaylock. 
Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. And then the Otters beat the reigning champion Knights 9-3. to three. This should be good, too. Yeah. Thundercats and Otters. <clears throat> Thundercats and Otters. Thundercats just coming off of a Winter Classic win. Yeah. Uh, and they tend to be uh, up there, usually. So, Feisty. Yes. So, good for them, man. Nice. And then last night, we had the Rusty semifinals. We had a heck of a game. Uh, Team Dexter Rusty beat them. Both good games. They were both good games. They both had the loves. So, Team Dexter Rusty wins in overtime. I think it was Tyler Shoemate Mm -hmm. uh, scored to. From the point. Yes. He threw threw it in. I don't know if it got deflected or it just deflected off the goalie, but I saw it redirect. So, it might have hit off the goalie and went in. But, yeah. So, that's an overtime game winner to go to the finals. Uh, Moose Hockey. Iced. Beat my Rusty Wolves, man. I was really. I had moose. The moose, wolves, are, moose, ah, moose are solid. Wolves. I mean, yeah, listen, they had, things. they had a, uh, and you know what? The Wolves, I think, scored first. Yeah, they um, did. They wow. scored first, went up, and then uh, three unanswered. Yeah. Our boy, Sean. the adversity there. Like, let's yeah. go, baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sean, yeah, Sean. That's what the Hawks uh, usually do, dude. They usually go down yeah. to two or one or two, you know. Sean stepped up. Sean right, scored miracle two right there. Coming yeah. from behind once again. Shiny, this one's for you, <laughs> bud. Yeah, man. All right, Moose. So, uh. To, uh, Sunday tomorrow, yeah, kicking off, huh? Uh, Moose hockey yeah. plays in game one. They're right into it. Let's go from go. Friday to Sunday, back to hockey. Nice. So back they played on Friday at Voorhees, and now we're um they're back to hockey. Yeah, you guys uh, want to check in on our uh, predictions here. What else <laughs> you got? Are you, are you reviewing the next week's schedule? Yeah, if anybody's interested, we yeah, have right. uh, gold finals start Monday with uh, uh, Team Twenty Four Seven Nights Watch. Then bronze plus finals. Uh, Tuesday kicks off silver and bronze finals. Let's go. And then Wednesday, we're right back. Gold, bronze plus, silver, bronze. We kind of we matched them up, so yeah. there's two games uh, for each one. Yeah, so. just to remind everybody that finals is best of three. So yeah. Yes, sir. When's the uh, – is Rusty – just every Rusty. Just two Sundays, or yeah, game yeah. two we have Sunday, so it'll be this Sunday and then the following Sunday, and then we have uh, game three is in that next week, I believe, is that Flyers Training Center? Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, yes. Yeah. So a- anything three. during the week was Flyers Training Center, Correct. and then Sunday that'll be uh, Saki Sunday. <clears throat> it's like a big spread. Does that work out better for those guys? What's that? Having it like Sunday to Sunday. Uh, yeah, probably. That one was only because of availability. Guys. Usually, I kind of, yeah. for a final series, I probably would have stuck like a game two in the middle, but Three we didn't have though. anything uh, open. So we gotcha. had to make it that way. So, uh, so yeah, man. Yeah, man. What's our predictions? What do we do? So, looking back, uh, we, well, me and you picked 24 7. Jerry picked Night's Watch. So we got a good matchup there. Uh, 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 Steve took Hawks and Silver, Otters and Bronze Plus, <laughs> James CC Auto oh, and Bronze. I'm you're alive. It, uh, Wolves, uh, you took the Wolves, though. So, I only missed one. <clears throat> yeah, Sorry, I'm, I'm, that's that's nice though. Yeah, uh, Jerry took Rain City and Silver. <laughs> Fuck, Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> uh, playing for second, Are boys. You kidding me? Dude? I mean, listen, <laughs> I worst, forgot. Dude. Dude. This this is oh, Pidgey's real. coming, oh, Pidgeons. <laughs> listen, I, listen. If they're like they're shutting people out, ten ruling people in the playoffs it, all season. Doesn't they're undefeated. Matter. Shooks that was uh, happy about your prediction. We got a couple comments uh, from the, on our last episode about that. But anyway, you took uh, Rain City, you took Otters, you took Plugs. Yeah, Plugs. <laughs> that was a bad pick, dude. So that's a bad pick. Casey's the Otters a juggernaut. And then uh, you took the, you took Moose Hockey. <laughs> I did take so Moose. A, took the upset. Uh, um, yeah. And it paid off for you. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. All right, I took uh, 24-7 Hawks. I took Thundercats. Wow. Ooh, T-Cats. I took Dexter Ooh. and Rusty, but I also took Camden County Warriors and Bronze. So all of us have four teams that are yeah, in and one fact. that are out. Okay. Damn, I thought it was special, mm. dude. No. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Not bad. No, we all did we all uh, we all did well. Yeah, yeah. pretty good. So right. Me, I'm, Meatball took twenty four seven, Rain City, Moonshine. Mm. And then he took Trops and Moose. So Not bad, <laughs> doing Another good, quick too. shout out to Meatball. Yeah, man. The all right. ball. Jerry, I'm very disappointed in you. Why? Meatball's putting a team in. Prove me sense. wrong. Yeah, I know. Let's go, Prove baby. me wrong. Hey, so you just, uh, we just pointed need to out fall boys. <clears throat> April 23rd will be the last uh, day of the season. So we have a couple things that we're going to kind of wrap up here um, throughout the next couple weeks. we got a couple more episodes in for this season. Uh, first thing I want to do real quick, though, is March Players of the Month. Okay. Um, we have, in gold, we have somebody who basically 3x the next, the guy in seconds points. So Huff ended up putting up 7.2 points per game. <laughs> I don't know if there's really anybody. One points this season. He had 30, 36 in March. Jesus. So Jesus. that's kind of undeniable. I don't know if we can really justify anybody else for that one. Yeah, that's a tough one. Um, speaking of familiar Jeez. faces, Huff, also, you got to start donating your fucking gift card. Every <laughs> yeah. Speaking of, uh, un, or you know, familiar faces, Ross Bryan finished with four point three three points per game in um, in silver. However, there was another. Um, 
another guy, uh, Tim Vant on Team Dexter, ended up with 10 points in two games played. Nice. Uh, there you go. Uh, so no. it's kind of between them two. I don't know if you're you're more about the uh, more games played with the higher point per game. More consistency. We're talking player of the month, the yeah. whole month, right? Yeah. So, so we got to go. So we got to go. We got to go, go, yeah. go, go. with Ross. Yeah. I thought ten points in two games. I was like, oh damn. Yeah, yeah. that's pretty good, bro. Oh, see, boy. Two games though. All right, let's go, Ross. So for bronze plus, I got uh, Darren Darkangelo. I, I don't know. Uh, he didn't. I don't think he won last this this season yet. So Darren Darkangelo with three point seven point three point seven five points per game. Four games played. Nice. Um, you kind of just disqualified my next suggestion here, which was Blaylock. Eight points in two games played in March. Blaylock, Yo. hello. Blaylock's been playing really. I would have well. loved Skinny to give it to him, but Skinny was stopping the all night yeah. enough. Apparently, everyone's back, dude. Yeah. So you got Dark Angelo, <laughs> three point seven five points per game, and then uh, Pat King, two point six points per game. They, him, and Dark Angelo both played all their games. Um, I'm not sure what the records were, so give it to Darren, dude. Yeah, Darren's at the, the top. Man. I guess we can get DD. DD. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bronze was interesting. Uh, Chris Kirchner, two point two points per game, um, and then Chris Giletto on. Uh, let's see. Ah, my boy. Yeah. Um, who was he on? What team was he on? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should I should have wrote their team names down. Uh, He's on the Knights. He's on the Knights. Yes. Yes. And I wanted to see what the uh, the record looked like I mean, during that time. So yeah, they I think did he pretty played. Good. Does he play with Paisanas as well? Oh, no, I don't think so. No, who's Paisanas? Because yeah, we were there. We were on day. the ice one day, and I was trying to figure that. out, And Gary came out to me. and was yeah. telling me, "Is that oh, your boy Chris? Who were we playing? Who was that? He wasn't for the pers- it wasn't for Paisanas. Who were we playing? I forget. I don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. Ooh, where was Silver? <laughs> Jesus, I really don't remember. Honestly, no. <laughs> I have no idea. It's like you were definitely there. He was there. What's his name? There. Yeah, he plays yeah. for the Knights. Chris Gelato. He is in the Knights. Yeah. So he finished with two point seven five points per game. Um. Give it to him. Chris Kirshner was on the tropics, though, who have been you know, kind of hot. So. No, he's been really good. Yeah. And they've been winning. Who, the, Kirshner? N- tropics. Yeah, Tropics. So yeah. Uh, I definitely would probably go show some, that. Show some love to the Traps. Yeah. All right. I'll definitely do that. Do the Lopez. They All won right. quite a bit. I think they uh, went on a streak, dude. Like, yeah. One, yeah. two, three game streak in March. Ooh. All Lost right. one to JMCC Auto. Little preview. Oh. So they went. Was it 9 5? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He went four and one in in March, so definitely Chris Kirshner had a lot to do with that. Yes, sir. And then down the rusty, um, well, we I, to- I didn't I didn't get their stats down. But all uh, I want to know, all I want to do is give it to somebody who actually plays. <laughs> Not like we did last month. Oh yeah, the, the, <laughs> the, ghost, the ghost player. Yeah. So I have one uh, Eichmann actually ended up uh, at the top of the leaderboard there Matty as Ice? far as the uh, what's up. Matty, Matty Ice. Ice, yeah, and then uh, Graydon. I think he's the captain of Team Dexter, right? Graydon's been playing really well. He had, I think, two goals last night, too. Yeah. yeah. So he's All been right. playing really well. Show some captain well. love, dude. Yeah. Show some playing captain some good love. hockey right now, eh? Graydon. go. Yeah, he's been playing really well. There you go. All right, Great, boys. Buddy. All right. That's our March Players of the Month. Um, Now what I would like to do is uh, let's talk about our uh, categories, perhaps, for Dusties. Um, what we're going to do next do, week. So right. The Got. Dusties. The Dusties. <laughs> <laughs> So before Jerry does that, we're going to uh, basically, we're going to open up, uh, we're going to talk about the categories this week. Next Correct. week, we're going to, if tune in next week, we're going to have the nominations down. And then the week after that, you guys can vote and then we'll come to you guys with the finale with the, uh, yes. with the selections. So the Dusties, <laughs> uh, we have some um, reoccurring uh, categories, right? But then we have three new ones. So I'm going to hit you with the the ones that we usually do. Um, so we got best team logo. Dusty, mm-hmm. best team logo, Dusty. <laughs> Too many beers. Dude. Yeah, I had a couple. Um, a best social media, Dusty. Mm-hmm. Then we have, what's next? Uh, best player of the game award, Dusty. Man, <laughs> angry. I'm calling this uh, podcast background uh, noise. Dude. <laughs> yeah. Then we have Rusty <laughs> most improved, right? Okay. Uh, goal of the one? season, which we'll talk about after. All right, you guys will explain how goal of the season will work, and then most valuable player. Yeah, dusty, the yeah. dusty. So I think should we open? Should we open them all up for voting? Sorry. Yes, I yes. want. I want to open okay. all of them up for voting. But now, th- so those are our normal ones. Then yeah. we got the uh, three new ones that I uh, started this season. Okay, I'll send this to you. Well, goal of the season is new. Well, yeah, goal of the season is new. Um, Maybe some defensive appreciation. No. <laughs> <laughs> best best new team name. Mm. Okay. So best Ooh. new team. We have a, so it's 
you know, the U is growing. We have a lot of teams coming in, and we have a lot of new uh, team, fun team names that I think uh, deserve awards. I think the creativity. The next one is Goop. We're gonna. Yeah, Goop. <laughs> I still love Shakas, bro. Yeah, Goop is on there. That, Goop is I on there. Goop's All right, gotta be on there, dude. Best, Shaka, best new sweater. So we have a lot of teams mm. upgrading their jerseys, right? Nice. With sure. our partnership with GS Dubs, right? Let's go. We have a lot of new teams mid season doing a little new jersey change. The we Wolves, have, the Wolves new jersey, the Wolves jersey is sick. I like do the like the Minnesota Wolves. Wild stuff. We yeah. have we have a couple new oh, ones, which are nice. Yeah, and nice. then the last new one, which I think is uh, pretty cool, is called the Monster Sponsor Dusty. Meaning, <laughs> who? There's a lot of teams out there getting sponsors, yeah, which okay. right. So we're gonna uh, see, we're gonna have the everybody vote. Who got the best sponsor? Monster, monster, <laughs> the monster sponsor. We <laughs> got some I'm sponsors out there, and I have categories. Like we, I'll explain it next. That's week. That's an interesting one. I I could explain it next week. Why each sponsor is unique in its own way, and I want people to uh, I want people to vote on it. Beautiful, because they're each they're each unique in its own way. Right. Awesome, awesome. So those are the categories for. The Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tune in next week. We'll have the nominations for you. Then after that, we will open up the voting to the community. Yes. However, um, for the goal of the year, goal of the season, yes. um, we're, well, first of all, we're doing save or goal. Or both. we're doing two categories. Both. Okay, so we're doing a save of the season and a goal of the season. Yes. So by the time this comes out, go to look at the link in our bio, and there's a form available for you to upload a clip of said goal or said save. Yeah, it'll probably be a live barn unless like it was game of the week or something. That's what you just like that. say, so how do you fine. access that? Which is yeah, fine. Either live barn or or, okay. or if, YouTube if you're having, any yeah. of our games. Just to make people aware. So if you yeah. want to upload a clip, mm-hmm. you don't have to find it. Yeah. Yeah, Just yeah. yeah. Which I, which yeah. the teams will know if there's a goal that's worthy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone sends shit around. Yeah. yeah. So um and if you'd forget there will be a post on social media reminding you that uh submissions are open. Yeah. Next week on the pod, we will collect our submissions. I don't know if you want to do this on the pod or before, and then we will come up with, I guess, what, the four best? Four best. And we'll probably have to show them. Yeah, we'll probably show them up. We'll probably, we're going to decide it, right? Yeah. So we're going to bring them up on the podcast. We'll play it, and okay. then we'll all talk about it. We'll okay. look at it. And so we'll, we'll collect your submissions that. next week, um, and then we'll decide what the nominations are for the Dusty. Shout the out. The Dusty. <laughs> Shout out to, uh, this is uh, Mark Rienzi's yeah. idea. He texted me with this idea. Yep. Um, typically, uh, you know, I would steal it and say it was mine, but <laughs> Mark's coming over in about 20 minutes. So yeah. steal his money tonight. Well, in the spirit <laughs> of, uh, the commissioner taking suggestions, uh, feel free to comment on our, this episode. If you have some suggestions for next season on, uh, perhaps some dusties that Jerry should include. Yeah. yeah. All right. If I may. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Yeah, we're bad. What do you if got? I may, before you close this out, Go. can I open up the, uh, discussion of <laughs> golf outing? Oh, we eh. It's never too early. It's never. Too Everyone early. keeps asking for a date, and, a, and so saying, we have hey, dude, a date. Gotta, I don't even know it, dude. You never tell me anything. I dude. I post every event that we've had. We've had a table. I've had a poster. It's fair. It's fair. A yeah. flyer. Well, right now, the let date. the people know. Did it have a date, date on it? Uh, yeah, September sixteenth. Sixteenth. Yeah, tell people. And what now, is that? Dude. Is that a Monday? That is a Monday, September sixteenth. Yeah, the people and can call out. What's so. our starting time? We're yeah. talking nine, twelve. Yeah, no, we're talking. We're doing uh, eleven o'clock uh, registration, twelve okay. o'clock. Uh, you know, start uh, tee off. So people can plan accordingly. Yeah, yeah. So Let's go. perhaps uh, we should we should ramp that up. However, September sixteenth, summer series, yeah. summer, summer series. series first, we got to fill up summer yep. series. Absolutely. You guys will hear more about the outing very very soon. Correct. Special. Uh, wait, one thing about the golf outing. Yeah, yep. September sixteenth. Yeah, Monday. Uh, what's the first par three? On, uh, at Valley the first par three at Valley Brook would hole be hole three. Hole three. <laughs> Hit a hole in one, win Larry's car. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a hole in one. Wait, which one? The one he's going to have then or right now? <laughs> right, now, car, right, now. Yeah, right now. His <laughs> Nissan Altima. Let's Altima. go, Altima. Win Larry's car, you get a hole in one, hole oh, three. let's go. <laughs> Point it out, baby. I really, yeah, we should really that'd do it. Honestly, that'd be great. <laughs> Guys, and, don't, and don't worry about we'll the taxes. Yeah, don't worry about the taxes because it's not worth much. <laughs> taxes not included. Yeah, cool, bro. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, wow, you guys, you you guys win a free car. That's pretty ultimate, sick, dude. dude. <laughs> I might tee off, dude. <laughs> <laughs> tee off. Or right, I may take a shot, dude. Larry's yeah. car is on the line. Yep. Yeah, buddy. All right. Just quick shout out to our sponsors and partners: Get Sportswear, the North Hockey, and of course Seacoast. Let's go. Check out Let's the last. Uh, check the last special edition to hear more about how Seacoast is getting involved next season. Um, <laughs> with that being said, do you have any uh, commissioner's notes? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> what, dude? Can, can we, we can we shout out Iron Hill too? 
Oh, absolutely. You didn't like my animated, uh, yeah, we took down their sign. I know. I, Iron Hill, though. I, I, dude, always we, Iron Hill. Baby. Yeah, always Iron Hill. Because we always have, uh, we didn't talk about the All-Star game, did we? No, nah, we're waiting for uh, that. We're going to get that video. video. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great yeah. relationship we're building with Iron Hill, absolutely. absolutely yeah. yeah, it's a lot of fun. And we, we had we definitely had a lot of fun at the uh, Iron at the All-Star game, sorry, and yeah. um, afterwards at Iron Hill. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll wait for the video and we can show it and talk yeah. about it. Iron Hill's great, man. Stay tuned uh, on YouTube. Yeah, Iron Hill is, is great. Yes. Honestly. Good um, people, good venue. More to come. Yeah. Uh, any commissioner's notes? No. No? Summer series. Yeah. Summer series. <laughs> um, Register for real. Yeah. I'm, the only thing I have is... Uh, uh, for your team. Make it easier for me. <laughs> Check out the updated gallery with the uh, all-star game photos from Bob Bob Lindman. Yeah. yeah. Gallery, gallery's updated. Dude, I, yeah. I look, I, dude, he takes some good pictures. Man. Oh, He's speaking of, good. I haven't... Uh, pictures what's going on with the drone video? It's so, yeah, should that, be, should it's be available, available soon. It's okay. the all-star. Nice. Video. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. Should be available any day now. So keep keep an eye out on YouTube for that and keep an eye out on our uh, just our regular updated gallery for all the photos and stuff like that. It was a ton of them. Absolute ton of them. Yeah. Um, they did well. Prelims. Yeah, buddy. You're that, a prelim. We're missing the prelims. What? Oh, what sorry. Quick shout out. Uh, Carl Daddy Saves said, Gotta love Jerry. Playoff's going to be tight. Said top three teams in silver have a good chance, to be it. honest. His sloth, his sloth tending 317. Isn't that Santora on YouTube? Yes. He said Meatball is Santora's favorite player to penalize. I guess he was talking about himself there. <laughs> Third person. Shout out to, uh, what was it, Anthony DeMaro. So he's got two cribs in Greece. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, we exchanged, <laughs> yeah, we, we, be it. Yeah, we, we exchanged a few, but did you hear what he said? He what? said where my mom's house is, where our house is, which, by the way, not 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 to flex a little bit, but it's mm. going to be awesome. My mom's going to Greece Monday. I'm taking her to the airport. Oh, she's, nice. She's turning it over. She's turning it over, so I'm what pretty excited. What do you mean turning it over? Putting it in mine and my sister's name. The crib. Oh, oh, must be oh, nice, dude. Yes. Must be must nice. Must be nice. I got a house hold in up. Greece. Hold on. Oh, yeah. I got hold a house up. in Greece. He's casually getting signed over to me. Yo, you Greece? Yeah. Oh, it would be nice, yeah. You Greece? You know fucking Larry Wait. says to me today? Remember I've been talking about you Banff? vacation? I've been talking about Banff National Park. Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, I think we're going to Banff National no, Park. No, I said, I said Monique, idea, Monique's starting to send me reels, so be be all, be yeah. ready. I be say, ready. I say I want to go somewhere, and they're like, I'm going there. And they're like, I'm three months. It's like, oh, thanks a lot. I heard you were invited, though. So where? To Greece. It's not that easy. It's not that simple. Why? It's <laughs> not that, that simple, simple, dude. 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 See, I can just pick up and go somewhere. Steve can't, unfortunately. <laughs> Someone's um, got to work, dude. <sighs> and He's then uh, kids. another quick shout out to Hody. You said no respect for CCW. Yeah, I felt bad for that one because yeah. sorry, bud. CCW, uh, yeah, they're solid. I, I picked them. I picked. I picked yeah. CCW. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, that's it. Johnson man. If you have any feedback for the U crew, any uh, dusty suggestions, anything like that, drop a comment on YouTube. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. Drop a, yeah, co- drop a comment on YouTube and please continue just sharing the show. We appreciate all your help so far and something as small as sharing this episode contributes to growing UHL as a whole. So with that being said, you have seen poker? Yeah, man. All all right, let's let's go, go. Take it on next money. Good luck, everybody, Stop in the playoffs. Good luck, good luck, good luck in the finals. Stevens a fish, just so we're all aware. <laughs> <laughs> Peace. See you.